Well, hello, this video, pardon the voice, by the way, I've got COVID at the minute. Yes, very retro, isn't it? Yeah, that's me. Anyway, this is about the Cricketers. If you don't know what the Cricketers was, it was a music pub. It started in about the late 1970s, many doing soul and funk. I was involved from about 82 onwards, and um, I spread it out a bit more rock, more punk, more blues, more generally world music. Owners of the pub, who were grand metropolitan with the big pub companies in the country, had to sell all their pubs. And this one they sold to themselves, trading as a property company. And they decided that our rent was half what it ought to be, so they tried to put the rent up. It just wasn't economically possible. So we left in September the 30th, 1990. I think it's Lady Day, is it? Something like that. And then it was taken over by some bikers and they totally messed it up and they painted it black and tried to put on the same bands. In fact, a little secret, they paid me for a while to book the bands for them, but it wasn't easy because by this time the reputation had changed and people didn't like going there. And it closed in about 93, I think it was. If you want to know more about the Cricketers, I have done a video about it. There's a link up there, so check that out. This is basically, I went down there because I saw on, when I was watching the fantastic cricket, the test match, which was at the Oval, they did um, graphics which showed that the, the Cricketers was now a new white building with a car parked in the car park. So I thought, well, perhaps it's been changed. I asked some people who were at the test match whether it, it had been updated and they didn't know. So as I was in London, I decided to go along and take a look for myself. And this is what happened. Well, here we are back at the Oval, Kennington Oval. Not the first time in, uh, what, 23 years? 33 years? Is it really 33 years? It is, isn't it? But um, certainly not many times. And I'm coming to see whether the Cricketers pub is still derelict or whether the rumour is true that it's been finally refurbished at last. We've just reached the um, entrance to the Oval Cricket Ground behind me. There seems to be a match on today. I didn't know that. But um, that would explain why there's people here all this place. And now we're going to go down the old Cricketers Oval, which is near the road, to see what we shall see. The oval creek around itself has certainly had a bit of refurbishment. Last time I was here, this is just a plain wall. Now it's the something stand, the Galadari stand. And we're coming around the corner. A number of times I've walked up and down this road. Oh, it's definitely not being done. In fact, it's probably worse than it was last time I was here, I think. It's a bit taller, it's a bit more graffitied. Down there you can see with the Union Jack flying is Oval Mansions, which was a squat where Ian, Ian Dury lived at the time, but actually slightly earlier, because by the time I got here, in 83, he was quite famous. But back in the late 70s, that's where he lived in that, in that posh block of flats there, which wasn't so posh at the time. And here we are, no, nothing's happened here, I don't think. It's worse than it was last time I was here. The paint is almost off now. sign is you can't see what it was it was actually a cricket pitch with cricket players still got the gas holders behind me even though there's no gas apparently in them for a long time but they used to raise them or lower them depending on whether there was a cricket match on and they could put their advertising on there so there you go of course that's not the union jack it's the england cricket flag silly of a flying up on the Oval Mansions there. But certainly a lot better looking than it was when I was around here. Though this um, entrance to the gas holders is still as grotty as it ever was, possibly more so. Good bit of rusted corrugate around there. I'm sure the people who live in these posh flats here are very pleased that that's all there. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, follow me, subscribe, and I'll do more. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.